In this tutorial, uh, we will be walking through the steps in setting up this structure for analysis. So we will start off by using SOLIDWORKS simulation. Okay, we will learn how to apply restraints and forces onto our structure and we will see um, the different kind of stress our structure will experience okay, based on the forces and restraints applied. Now before we can start using the simulation tools, okay, you need to first uh, turn on the SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in. So make sure you go to the options button here. Next to it, there's a small arrow. Okay, click on this command called add-ins. Okay, and you should see all the different add-ins available in SOLIDWORKS. Okay, make sure you turn on the SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in. Okay, just put a checkbox next to it and hit OK. So once the SOLIDWORKS simulation add-in has been uh, launched, you should be able to see this tab called simulation. Now, before we start the simulation overview, okay, let me just uh, create a little modification to my model. Okay, I'm going to apply um, some force okay, on these lateral beams here. So let me just split up some faces so that you know, I, I, I only want to apply the force to a certain portion of the face and, and not the, the whole and not all the beams on top. Okay. So to do that, we will need to split the faces. So let me just start off by creating a simple sketch okay, on this face over here. Okay, let me just sketch uh, a rectangle from here to thereabouts. Okay? And I'm going to dimension the distance from here to here to be about 15. Okay? And the same for the bottom. Okay, so we have created a sketch. Okay, I'm going to use this sketch to create some split lines on the top. Okay, so to create the split lines, all we need to do is okay, go to the pull down menu, okay, go to tools, I'm sorry, go to insert, curve, split line. Okay, we will select projection curve and I would like to split this top face here, this face here, and this face here. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in to let you see the results. Okay, hit on OK. You should be able to see a face that was separated from the rest of the other face that you see on top. Okay, and it has split these three different faces on the three different floors. So these will be the faces where I will apply the force on. Okay, so right, let's start our simulation. Okay, so to start a simulation, we go to the simulation tab. On the command manager okay under study make sure you select this option called new study okay and uh, based on the different kinds of modules that are available to you okay you can create different kinds of studies in solidworks simulation okay so if you want to do a stress analysis just select static study and just give it a name okay so maybe i should call this stress analysis and hit ok and you can see this is the interface that we have in SOLIDWORKS simulation. Now you just need to follow step by step from top to bottom. Okay, if you complete all the different steps, your model should be ready for simulation. So we start off first by applying a material to your model. Now previously we added MDF as the material to this SOLIDWORKS structure. So if you need to modify the material, just right click on the first folder and go to apply edit material. Okay, just click on it okay and here you are able to select the different materials you want to apply to this design and the next thing we need to do is we need to apply a fixture so we go to fixture right click on it select the kind of fixture you would like okay so for this case i would like to fa fix the baseboard okay to the vibration table so i'm going to go select the fixed geometry option and i will fix the bottom face Okay, we have created the fixture and next I'm going to apply some loads. Okay, so we are supposed to apply some weights okay, on, on the different floors. So just let me right click on the external loads folder and select this option called force. So you are able to apply different things such as a torque, pressure, etc. So for this case, we will just use a force. Okay, so I'm going to 
it set a force of 25 Newton per item okay and select this face this face and this face so you notice okay I uh, the, the preview will show you the direction of the force okay and if this is not the direction you want you can always click on the reverse direction checkbox okay to change the direction of force so if you are okay with this setting okay just hit okay now one thing to note you notice there's this option called per item or total so if i put 25 newtons per item that means there's 25 newtons acting on these three floors each okay so just hit on okay okay now that we have created our fixtures and our loads okay we are able to run the analysis so right click on the last folder called mesh and select this option mesh and run so what the software is doing now it is meshing the model uh, in essence it is like breaking up your 3d model into small lego blocks and it's trying to calculate its displacement with respect to one another so and the next step okay is actually solving a series of simultaneous equations okay so there you go okay our analysis is complete okay so you can see here uh, this is how this is a stress plot okay so to read this okay you can see the stress value on this chart here and you can refer to the corresponding colors in your model to see how much stress this uh, structure is experiencing okay and if you are more interested in the displacement of each floor okay just do a displacement plot okay and you have a displacement here okay and you can see each member how much displacement there is okay now there are times where you may not see the kind of plot that you require okay so if you do not see these plots okay just right click on the results folder and this is where you can define a plot so let's say I want to define a uh, displacement plot okay and I would like one in millimeters you can change the units and hit OK there you go okay you have uh, a displacement plot in mm so as you can see the maximum displacement is about 13 mm okay which happens uh, where all the weights are sitting on okay so we are done okay you have learned how to apply forces restraints and run a simple stress analysis on your wellman structure